Hello guys, this is Wally Creeper and uh, we're in uh, the week 22 snapshot um, for 1.3 and this is my uh, proof of concept video for a two-directional, bi-directional eats road using the new uh, water dispensing functionality um, forthcoming in the update. So let's give you a quick demonstration jump in the boat, press the button, get transported transported all the way down here and jump out and we're fine we're at the other end. Um, hello. We can jump back in the boat, press the button at this end and all the way back. So there we go. Um, I'll show you how it works. Um, by the way, that jumping us was actually my PC, not your video. Um, I think there's a still some bugs in this snapshot here. I seem to be jumping forwards and backwards slightly in the boat, and there seems to be some momentum issues with the boat. If you look at this boat, um, is it happening? What seems to happen, it doesn't seem to be happening at the moment, but boats seem to not be calculating their momentum correctly. Um, so uh, they're doing some glitchy stuff, sliding along and then jumping back. Almost like it's, um, I'll tell you what it's like, it's almost like uh, SMP bugs um, present in single player. So yeah, they need to figure that out. I know it's the SMP, SSP thing is something that's being worked on. However, uh, on with the proof of concept. Um, so we've got dispensers all the way down. Um, so at the moment, half of these have full water buckets, half of them have empty water buckets. The one with empty water buckets have um, water in front of them. If we remove the caps off these, you can see the water flows in from either side, down, and and then it flows out, but that's less important. Um, these channels here are important only so that when the boat goes over these pressure plates, it powers on and off each dispenser. And what happens then is if there's water in front of it and an empty bucket inside, it sucks the water in. And if there's a water bucket inside and no water source in front of it, it pushes the water source out. And that's what allows us to change the flow direction. Um, I'll just put that cap back on. Um, the wiring for this is very simple. Uh, either, at either end, um, we have a dispenser with a water bucket in. Uh, when we press the button, it powers the dispenser on and off, releasing the water. Um, the power also goes through this torch into this spot of redstone back into the dispenser so it immediately powers it on and off again um, on a delay of one torch um, which sucks the water back in so um, it doesn't leave the water here flowing out after you've gone off down the road. Um, as it passes over each pressure plate uh, the pressure plate is above this block here so it powers this shoots into here turns these torches off and then back on again which is enough to um, power the dis uh, well in this case power the dispenser off and then back on um, however that will do as I've said and for example this dispenser here will pull the water in and turn that water bucket into a full water bucket and this dispenser here will push that water out so it'll have an empty bucket in and a water source in front of it. Um, so I'll give you one more demonstration. So yep, um, it seems to work really well. Um, with the SMP style lag issues put to one side and I do hope to goodness that they get those fixed because that's just not great at all. 
Um, but yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to the update and implementing this two-way Eats Road into my LP world. Um, I look forward to see seeing if uh, any of you guys can uh, are going to do the same or if you can come up with improvements to the same concept. Um, but in the meantime, I've been Wally Creeper and I'll see you next time.